What's up? What's good? It's your boy Tommy Springfield, aka the King of Talk, and we back with another video. But before we get all into all of that, all I really want to know is how y'all doing? doing out there? Well, last night was the wrap up of WrestleMania 39, and I'm only here to talk about one match, and that's Roman Reigns versus Cody Rose. I don't care who you um, listen to, whether it's Brian Alvarez, Dave Meltzer, uh, Sean Ross Sapp, that whack dude on Twitter, the jobber, the wrestling exerber, Booker T, high time chump, whoever it is you listen to, they all were leading you wrong. Roman Reigns won, and he should have won. There's no reason he should have lost. Why should have Roman Reigns lost? Let's look at Roman Reigns' resume. He racked him and stacked him. He made you believe that. He beat John Cena. Like, he beat a whole bunch of people in this company in the last two years. Why would he lose to a guy who left WWE? took shots at WWE, came back to WWE, and got hurt and only had three or four matches prior to fighting Roman Reigns. That's why y'all fans, that's why the Brian Alvarez's and the Dave Meltzer's, that's why they bloggers, because none of y'all know what the fuck y'all talking about. Why would Roman Reigns, the man, have the belt 900 and something days, 900 and something days, Lose to a dude fresh to the company. And if you a fan and if you a blogger and you wanted Kobe to win, that's why you work where you at. You suck. Listen, for Kobe to beat Roman Reigns, it needs to be a year-long story. And later on, because Roman is still the champ, I'll come back here and give you the storyline for Cody to beat Roman Reigns. It wasn't what y'all thought. Like, y'all just gullible, the Dave Meltzers and the Booker T's and the Brian Alvarez's, they just gullible. They all want a job at WWE, so they're not going to give it to you real. They're not going to give it to you raw. They're going to go with the masses. And like I said, I've been watching wrestling since I was a kid, and as you can see by the gray beard, I'm, I'm a lot older now, and I never even thought, Cody Rhodes should have fought Roman. He didn't deserve the shot. He didn't fight nobody Roman Reigns fought. I didn't do my homework, but I seen it all. I just don't remember. But Roman Reigns stacked and racked and defeated every big name in the company, past and present. And we're just going to let Cody Rhodes win because he came from AEW? Come on, man. Y'all all are Marks, the Dave Meltzers, the Sean Ross Saps, the Jobber Nation, and Wrestling Exerber, and the Brian Alvarez. They all are Marks who don't know what the fuck they talking about and just want WWE jobs, man. But it is what it is. If you want that real wrestling talk, because I'm starting... I'm going to cover wrestling because the representation on the bloggers suck. You know, they're all pro WWE. WWE can do something tonight. You know what they say? Oh, well, AEW, we're watching a WWE event. Why are you talking about AEW? And then they act like WWE don't leave the business in all the mistakes that you claim AEW makes. It's because they all scared of the big machine let me tell you the truth the truth is yes wwe is the bigger show no doubt but it's not the best show that's the difference yes it's the biggest wrestling show on the planet but it's not the best show by far they don't have the best wrestling they had one storyline for the last couple of years that no one want to admit that was fucked up a few times and that's the bloodline it was fucked up. It was put back on track. It was fucked up. Nothing else in WWE nobody really cares about. Nobody cared about Edge old ass. Nobody cared about none of them women's matches. All this shit straight sucked. But like I said, all the fake bloggers gonna get up today. 
not say nothing, not talk about it. They all mad because their fantasy booking had Kobe Rhodes winning when he shouldn't even fought. He didn't even deserve that match. And I got to say, the Logan Paul, Seth Rollins match was good, but I just don't, as a wrestling fan, a real wrestling fan, I'm not a fan of one promotion like 90% of you fans. I'm a wrestling fan. I love the business. So I can watch all wrestling and have a fair opinion, unlike the Sean Ross Saps and the Brian Alvarez's and the Jobber Nations and the Booker T. See, they have one track mind. Oh, we got to pump up WWE. We got to pump. That fan in WWE's ass, because one day we're going to get a job. No, you're not. You're never going to get a job. So y'all need to be fair, unbiased bloggers, man. But, yeah, like I said, WWE is the biggest show on earth, but it's not the best show on earth. It's just that simple. You know, like I said, Roman Reigns should have won. Kobe Rhodes should have never, ever, ever had a shot this early in the game. He was only pushed because he came from AEW. And it's sad that fans are so dumb. They can't admit that or see that. But if you're a supporter of the channel, much love and respect. And if you're one of them haters, man, cut the shit.